Frank Nixon, a good friend of mine. He especially actually bends on the left, left ball, silver. And he's standing in the water for a good reason, ladies and gentlemen. He has got himself a 15 pound silver bar and he's just resting it. He gave me a call. I'm over here like a shot. Let's get some nice photography for him before it goes back. Hi Steve. Good man, good man. Well done son, well done. Oh, look at her. Isn't she lovely? It's a good fish. Well, about the, yeah, was it a cockfish? Sorry? Under the power lines. Same spot as mine. Isn't that amazing, eh? Isn't that amazing? The right thing to do there. So you've got your chest waders as well. Oh, it's tight waders. Now what I'm going to do, Steve, is I'm going to set up the main camera before you release it. And we'll get some zoomed up close footage, maybe a few stills in the water. And then I'm going to give you the head cam. So you're going to have to lose your cowboy hat. And I want you to have your perspective releasing the fish with the head cam. Are you happy with that? Yeah? So I'll just set up the camera. Now, who says that lightning doesn't strike in the same places? <laughs> I had my fish 10 days ago underneath these power cables. Steve has been working this bit of water for the last few days, haven't you? Two days? Three, about two or three days. And you are basically the king of MEPS fishing in my book. He's presented a silver downstream or upstream? Across. Across. So he's presented a... S so it's... right underneath the, the power cables. Do you know what, they love that power cables, don't they? That's gotta be two out of there. It hasn't, that one fish hasn't been caught out there for at least six, seven, eight years, two in one season. It tells its own story, doesn't it? Right, I'm just gonna set the cameras up. I'll give you the head cam as well. It's a lovely looking fish. Now, what I'm gonna do, I've got this lovely little peninsula here, so I should be able to get some good images. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear about my sea trout? The video's been uploaded. <laughs> yeah, John thinks it's, um, he's very pleased with it. It's a good fish. I underestimated the length, by the way, just to let the viewers know. I went back and Bob, Bob measured the leg core. That was 34 inches, not 24. And we had to add another three inches. So it's a 37 inch sea trout. Now that's telling me it's double figure plus, but I don't think it was. It's a, John Lavelle thinks it's a cockfish and they weigh less than the henfish. So I'm sticking by eight pounds, but the length is gonna go ha have to go up to 37 inches. Right, I'll get this tripod in. Get this all nicely set. I wanna get some lovely images here. I'll just drop that down. Okay, this is a cock salmon of about 15 pounds it's caught on a number four silver maps all right ladies and gentlemen I'm here with Steve Hutchinson this is his first spring salmon of the season 2013 caught on the 17th or 16th 17th of May there's a 15 pound silver bar he's just rescuing he's just recovering it now so, that's lovely. That's a beauty, did it fight well? Yeah? Got yeah. oh, a good bend in your rod then. Okay. Right, what I'll do is, the way to do this, so I'll, you. So I, I'll just tighten up a little bit so it doesn't come loose. And, uh, oh, I'm so pleased with Steve. I'm so pleased. It's a lovely fish, isn't it lovely? Look at it. You've got to be a happy bunny. Six and a half days. Six and a half days. That's how many days of fishing. What is going on? Actually, we tell you this is a fox salmon of about 15 pounds. It's caught on a number four silver maps. It's a beauty. There's a cockfish. 
recovered, yes. Yeah, you've probably recovered that for a good 15 minutes, would you say? Uh, yes. Yeah, and I think there's nothing wrong in holding on for the fish for a bit longer than necessary sometimes because it just gives them more time to, to recover, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it was a really strong fight. Yeah, how long did it take you to bring it in? Uh, about seven or eight minutes. Seven or, seven or eight minutes, is that all? God, that was a quickie. Well, I, I thought it took a long time actually. Oh, did you? <laughs> really? Because I fish heavy, I like to get them in quickly. Yeah, that's fair enough. What pound line were you using? Pardon? What pound line were you using? This was on the tippet, was 22 pounds. 22 pound tippet, and what braid are you using? 30 pound braid, okay. Now what I'm going to do, we'll take some stills, we'll come back to the video shoot in a sec. You want to take, take a few with mine first and then... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can look for two shots. Better not let it out of the net or it'll be off. You can poke her out just a bit higher for me. Just poke her out a little bit higher, that's it, a bit higher. That's a cracker. Oh, lovely. That is an absolute beauty. I've got some fantastic steel for you. Now, no. Yeah, but I can measure it if you want. Right, we're going to measure the fish. Steve's just trying to find the measuring tape. He's got it there. I'm going to guess 34 inches is my guess. I think it's 33 to 34. Uh, it's smaller than we thought, it's only 31. 31, so I'm going to give you 12 for that one. Yep. Just 12? Yeah. Respectable, yeah? That is a quality fish. Well done, mate, well done. Right, I think we're ready to release her in. Now, I'll follow her down the channel. So I've got this all set up nicely. I want to zoom in. You bring her in, that's it. Start on the shallows and then hold its tail. And I'm going to. That's lovely. I think she's well. He's well recovered. It's a cockfish, isn't it? It's ready to go. It's all it's recovered. Yes. Yeah, you've probably recovered that for a good fifteen minutes, would you say? Ah, uh, yeah, yes. It's, I think it's cockfish. Yes. It's a cockfish, yeah. It's small cat. That's a lovely fish. Lovely, lovely fish. I'm so pleased for you, Steve. So pleased for you. Now. get in and see the see the fish itself now let's have a look at the fish there we go ladies and gentlemen what do you think about that that is the Atlantic salmon on the Hampshire Avon caught by the MEPS wizard Steve Hutchinson it's I think it's a cockfish yes it's yeah. got a small kite That's Yeah, are you ready for it to go? Yeah, I'm ready for it to go. Whenever you're ready. It's young. Off it goes. Well, all I can say is congratulations, Steve, and well done. Yeah, mate. thank you. Well done indeed. Who taught me how to MEPS fish a few years back, and I've been catching loads. He knows what he's doing. 
He's had three in one afternoon up here before, haven't you, Steve? Yeah, you're ready for it to go? Yep, yeah, I'm ready for it to go whenever you're ready. Off it goes. Off it goes. Well, all I can say is congratulations, Steve, and well done, mate. Thank you. Well done indeed. Geese and the chicks, there they go. I've got them. Aren't they pretty? With the mother just going over here. There they go. Little chicks running. Look at them go. They're beautiful. Wow. Stunning. With the mother. There she is. I've got my babies. I've been waiting a long time for these beautiful, beautiful brood. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. I've run about 250 meters or more, and I've got them. Aren't they just lovely? Aren't they lovely? Beautiful, beautiful.